We all nine out. So Let's get started, shall we? Yeah, sure. Uh, hello, Queen. I got a fan of it. What's in Sawa? I'm a guy to what a match for the Ganacha. Yeah, serious. I'm like a man. I know you have a whole new coin. I'm saying about it. See, I Mo 我第一個印象是未試酒 好好的產區可以做有很多老樹種好多靚酒的 誒誒,Pure Okay, um, so welcome back to Watson Sawa. This is Graham again. Thank you. Happy to see you. Um, so we have Sonny here. Sonny is a Spanish wine buyer. So today we are continue our Grenache or Ganacha series of uh, December. So we try some new wave producer from South Australia uh, last week. So 
to this week, we go back to the old world. So we go back to Spain. Some people say that Granacho or Ganacha is originally from Spain. And in Spain, um, there's a very, very important uh, wide region. If you talk about Ganacha, it's Pirouette. So Sonny has been to Pirouette before. And he, she mentioned that at the, the extreme terra, extreme rolling stone, uh, rolling hills, a very extreme, very, very extreme for grape planting. So um, today, that's why we are very happy to have uh, Dominic on the other side of the camera um, from Terra Limit to let him introduce us the region as well as the <laughs> philosophy of winemaking and his wines. So Dominic, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome everybody. Hello. Hello. So uh, first of all, uh, let uh, maybe could you uh, tell us more about your project? When and how did you start this project, making wine in Pura? Well, I'm already in Priorat since 25 years. That's a long time. I'm 50 years old, so half of my life I spent in Priorat. I wow. came to Priorat the first time out of a very hedonist, romantic approach. I wanted to learn about wine. Mm. I was in love with the Mediterranean culture, and I was lucky enough to end up in the hands of the family um, Perez, which owns the wineries Mas Martinet and seems to Porera in Priorat. And I did my first stage there. So I was doing six weeks of training uh, as, a, as a wine student in the winery and in the fields. And in this time, I was uh, slowly, surely falling in love with the culture of wine, this beautiful, uh, this beautiful activity where you, where you are hands-on doing something. But on the other hand, you have this very intellectual and uh, approach, lots of sensibility involved. And you're creating something very beautiful that uh, a certain part of the world adores very much, which is wine. Mm. So you, you mentioned you, you came to Spain 25 years ago. So originally, where is it from? And I'm from Germany, was... from Munich. I'm from Munich in Germany, yes. I'm, uh, uh, um, do you make wines in the world, elsewhere? In South Africa. I met uh, a few years later in 2000, I met Eben Zadi from South Africa, uh, the producer of Columella and Palladius, and we became friends. And he invited me twice to for two vintages in, in South Africa. And I made wine together with him there. So I started first in Priorat, then in South Africa, and then we started our winery in Priorat in 2001. Mm. So have you ever made wine in Germany? Never? No, never. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I prefer the Mediterranean wines. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no plan for you at the moment to go back to Germany to say another project? No, no, no. Zero <laughs> plan. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we talk about your, your career, how you start your career. So uh, for the brand today, we feature Terra Our Limit. Can you tell us more a bit of the philosophy behind it? So what kind of wine? Well, the, philosophy, yeah. the philosophy is very simple. Mm. We want to make wine for the gastronomy. We are food lovers. We love the gastronomy and the great restaurants of the world. Mm. And for us, it's very important that our wines match with the food of the local cuisine. Mm. So we don't want to make these important, powerful, oaky, alcoholic, big wines. Mm. We want to make very elegant, fine, refined, fluent, crispy wines that, uh, that perfectly... Uh, are in harmony with uh, modern Mediterranean cuisine. Mm. That's our philosophy. Organic biodynamic farming, uh, no additives in winemaking, very uh, hands-off, natural, but with, with sulfur, we work with sulfur, so we don't make classical natural wine, mm. but we have a natural approach to wine. And, and uh, then again, the food friendliness, that's very important. The whole friendliness in terms of the, um, the fresh acidity or the, the smooth tannins or like lighter body compared to the like yes the classic more transparent tradition. more transparent lighter body low low extraction short maceration mm. early pressing no oak at all so we work what you are drinking now the Abosa 2019 yeah. is completely without oak also, the Les Manias is without oak. In the Terra de Cucas, there's still a bit of oak, but we now we sold all our oak vessels. We ah. are only working with cement, 100% cement. And we were trying to harvest a little bit early. Yes. 
Okay. We always harvesting a bit earlier because we want the freshness and the crispiness of the of the of the early ripening grapes. Okay. Going back to the to the region itself, so um, as a uh, this month is a Grenache a Grenache series. How would you compare yeah. your Grenache your Grenache from Pure to other part of the world, say like uh, Chutok the Pop, uh, Australia? Australia in terms of style? I think I think uh, in Priorat we have a very very profound and deep soil types. Mm. We can produce very complex wines and and the rest depends on what we decide as a winemakers. So as a winemakers compared to Chateauneuf de Pape, for example, where you find very ripe alcoholic Grenaches, mm. we harvest rather early and we have low alcohol and crispy fresh wines. So very different than in Chateauneuf du Pape, for example. I think that's very interesting what's happening in Credos, close to Madrid. Um, they also make very nice Grenaches in a, in a very good, fresh approach. Mm. So you mentioned that, that the soil is the, the, the Licorera slate soil. Yeah. So uh, we are working in the Grenaches, we work with Argile, not with uh, Licorella. Licorella oh. is more for the Carignos. Oh, okay. okay. So how, like how Abusa, that... for example, Abusa, for example, is 100% Licorella. Mm. This one, yes. So you offer is more like minerality or freshness? Yes. And then uh, for the Grenaches, we have high altitude vineyards, mm. and they they are uh, they are full of clay, mm. clay and gypsum soils. Um, there's a trend like um, recently, year, recent years in Hong Kong. There's a trend that more and more people appreciate uh, Grenache or Grenache, like uh, after Europe. I, I think the, the the whole trend is started from UK or Europe mm -hmm. kind of style, and then it's like kind of a wide Asia and Hong Kong. And some people say that some white critics, including, uh, say that uh, Grenache share some similarity to Pinot Noir. What you say? Yes. Opinion on this? Yes, I think I think uh, Grenache could be the Pinot of the Mediterranean. Mm. Uh. The Pinot of the South. <laughs> yes, exactly. So let's try some wine, shall we? Yes. So we... This is Terra de Coques. This is our village, uh, our village blend. Uh, it is fifty percent Grenache and fifty percent Carignan, and it's aged in a big old foudre. So and the soil type all. is Licorella. So low book at all for this one? Sorry? So, so there's no oak at all for this one? Yes, there is some, there is some food rim. Yeah, yeah, there is some oak. Ah, okay, okay, I missed that. So 50% So do you consider this as a... Uh, and 50% Carignan. It's the grape varieties. How does uh, the carry on over? So uh, we, we understand that the like, Grenache or Grenache is a more popular grape, uh, more well known grapes, I, I would say. And carry on a little bit like under the shadow of the Grenache in the uh, Mediterranean region. How does it, the grape offer the, the, the taste or the structure to the wine? Uh, Carignan, Carignan has a bit more structure, hmm. Carignan is a bit more rustique. Whereas Grenache is very, very, very fine and elegant and, and, and very silky layered. Um, I think the grape varieties show a very different characters, but together as a blend, they're very beautiful because you have, you have more these, these elegant fine side from the Grenache and then you have a bit more of the structure and the, and the rusticness from the Carignan. And I think that's a very good, uh, a very good mix. Mm. Is it all uh, always 50 40 percent of this? Yes. Yes. I think it makes a really good balance. And I, and I like this why it has a very nice fruit acidity and not heavy at all. And also, uh, it has a lot of like uh, Mediterranean uh, herbs. Mm. Yes. Uh, what Dominic mentioned that. Uh, Grenache is uh, like a Mediterranean pinot. I think mm. the flavor show us something here, uh, a line as well. 
How, how old the vines are in this, in this bottle? Uh, 35 to 50 years. So is it very common to have uh, to find the vines in this age? A lot of the old vines in this region. Yes, there is lots of old vines in Priorat. Um, uh, there was some vineyards planted in the last twenty years, but there's still a lot of old vines, and especially thirty-five to fifty, you find a lot of beautiful vineyards. They're very equilibrated. They have good root system. They don't suffer so much in the heat with the heat waves in summer, and they produce very equilibrated, beautiful grapes for our vineyards, for our wines. So it was written in the Terra Viva. Yes. Lively earth, is it? Yes, exactly. This 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 uh, is the idea of the organic and biodynamic farming. Because we don't use any herbicides and pesticides, so the, 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 the land, the fields, the earth, the soil is alive, full of, full of um, organic material. So and this is a blend of different, different plots, different vineyards. From the same village. From the same village, right? Yes. It's called Toro, Toroja. Toroja del Priorat, yes. Nice. So the next one we are going to taste is actually a lot of ganacha. Is this is this is hundred percent carino the amosa hundred percent carino. Should we talk about it as well? Although although he's a late ganacha series, but I, <laughs> I, I'm I'm curious. Um, so after we have a blend of uh, 50 50 ganacha and and carian, so we have hundred percent yes. carian. Yes, and the manjes, the last wine yeah. is hundred percent ganache. Mm. Is it a single vineyard? That's a single vineyard. This is the vineyard where, you, where the gentleman was plowing with a mule before on the photograph. This ah. is Abusa. This is a hundred-year-old, hundred-year-old Carignan. I thought it was steep. <laughs> yes, this is Abusa. It's very steep, right? Huh? Yes, it's super steep. It's very difficult to work. So Everything that's why is, uh, you, you need a mule to help you on the farming. Yes. You can't really like use the machine. No machines. Yeah. No machines. Like 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 in Germany. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what's the age of the vines here? The age of the wines is 110 years. Wow. It's wow. super old. Wow. Yeah. So that's why the production is very small here. We only find yeah, super, super small uh, yields. So basically the how many bunches per vine you can get? With About three to five bunches, I would say. Wow, that's very, very limited. Mm. Yeah. This one on the, on the nose is already very deep. A lot of um, layers of flavor. Yes. Lots of blue fruit and black fruit, right. spiciness, beautiful depth. Complexity. So this one is only only concrete. This is only concrete. Yes. Yeah. I, I think I think it's a good uh, expression that um, you can you can show the purity on the on the whole whole representation of the fruit, mm. especially from this very old very old vineyard that uh, has a lot of intense flavor from the fruit. Yeah. And, and the attitude? How high is it? As we see, it's very this is about This is about 350 meters altitude in the village. It's just behind the winery, mm. up in the mountains. Is it considered as a high altitude in the region or just an epic? No, high altitude is Manjes. Manjes is 800 meters. Oh, wow, that's a double. Yes. What's the key difference between this uh, high altitude and low altitude? What did well, the, 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 the microclimate is changing. When you have high altitude, you have much fresher, uh, much fresher microclimate. So it's cooler. You can make more elegant wines. 
So lower attitude will, I, I guess, will be a bigger comparison. Yeah. The wines have a bit more structure when you have low altitude. And when you have high altitude, you can make very refined, very fresh wines. But 350 meters is already good. And this is north facing. Abusa has a north facing vineyard. Uh, so it's very fresh, very fresh, lots of red fruit characters. Very beautiful wine. So on the label is written Vinde Costa. Coastal Coast water? there is the steep slope. Ah, okay, okay. Mm. So like deep slope wine. Yes. What well, I think is the Parian is the is a really nice one mm. with good intensity, and yeah. yet it, it gives a, a lot of the uh, nice uh, herbs, very mm. in mm. the end, long finish. And I don't think it's uh, too heavy. No, not so at all. So it's like 14? Yeah, 40 percent alcohol. And then it's smooth and it's elegant, and you get the intensity of the fruit, and uh, very well balanced on the palate. So Dominic, uh, in few region, uh, is it very easy to get a high alcohol level wine? The alcohol? Yeah, the mm. alcohol level. Yeah, you have to be very careful in the harvest to catch the vineyards at the right time. Mm. Because especially for Grenache, Carignan is a bit more stable, but Grenache is super sensitive. It's, it's, a, it's a real, um, you have to be very, very careful because in two, three days, the alcohol can pick up half or almost one degree. So you wow. have to really be seen super precise in the moment of harvest. What alcohol level you would like to achieve? Like 13.5. Well, we have a little problem in Theorat that the DOQ has restrictions of alcohol minimum levels. So the red wine needs at least 13.5% alcohol and the, and the white wine needs at least 13% uh, alcohol. So we would like to harvest earlier. If we, don't have, if we didn't have that restrictions, we would harvest earlier, even fresher and lighter. Mm. But it kind of like uh, say uh, after your your brand you established is already very famous uh, around the world. Yeah. So you consider to like not following the DO rules <laughs> and using say like table wine kind of appellation. That's so a possibility, but it's also a shame if you can't write the name where you are working anymore on the label. Mm -hmm. I like to put Priorat on the label. Okay, mm -hmm. because you, you 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 love this place. It's Terra. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. It's a very unique place. It's very powerful. It's a beautiful scenery, and uh, it's 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 a wonderful place, Priorat. It's a very powerful nature. Mm. Before we move to the, the last one, I noticed that uh, behind you there's a there's a car. <laughs> yes, this is the car yeah. of my son when he was smaller. <laughs> so it's like hand built, hand made car. Well, we made the car together, yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> so he's your son in, in, in the winery? He's, he's living with his mother in the south of France. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. So, okay. going to the, the top? The topless manias, yeah. Our, our beloved 100% Grenache. Very famous uh, Grenache from Priorat, Les Manias, on wow. 800 meters altitude in, uh, in, in uh, argile soil. Very, so, very, very beautiful rose petals, the skin of the mandarin, lots of spiciness because of the gypsum layers in the soil. Um, very fragrant, almost perfumey expression of, of, of Grenache here. So Dominic, you mentioned for, for this uh, Grenache, it is a high attitude one, then do you, do you treat the grapes uh, in this wine I think a different way compared with the Grenache from the wine we taste previously? Like, do you do? Yeah, it's 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 the spiciness. It's the spiciness that we find here. It's very unique. The expression of the spiciness that you find in Les Manias. It's it's very different to the other wines we have. It's it's a real grand cru as we call it. It's a real, very unique expression of, of the soil type through the grape variety Grenache. 
But in terms it's of Ganacha the... Peluda, it's a special, it's a special clone. They call it Ganacha Peluda, the hairy one. Hairy one. Oh, yes. No. What, what, what is this all? So it is a. Uh, well, on the leaf, the one... leaf on the bottom of the leaf, there is some little hairs. Okay. Very tiny little hairs. The, so the, the, the... Chrome doesn't have, have the, this feature. No. No, oh. just the just the hairy Grenache. <laughs> Hairy Grenache. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Never heard about it. So, single vineyard, um, very small production. I, I, I guess I yes. there are only 2,000 bottles. And yes. um, how, how big is the vineyard? How? It's two hectares. Uh, just two hectares. Mm -hmm. Yes. So in terms of vinification, do you treat this, uh, the grapes from this vineyard differently? Like, do you do open or like, do you... Uh... Also only concrete? The same, this is concrete. Mm. And it's the same vinification like the previous wine, the Abosa. So we try to, to have a very similar, uh, very simple recipe that we use for the vinification and the aging to, to make sure that the vineyard shows its, its personality. Well then, uh, when we taste the wine, they are really different. So it tells that uh, this is the terroir, different from the terroir. Mm. Yes, way. exactly. That's the idea. Very good. <laughs> so you don't use a whole bunch here? Or do you use so whole bunch? Everything, everything is whole bunch vinification, right. yes. So There's I no distemming. How does it influence um, the, the wine in the, in the bottle? Um, you have this beautiful spiciness and the freshness from the stems. Oh, okay. But the thing is that you have to make sure uh, the stem is ripe, right? Well, it's not super ripe, but it's not a problem because we don't break the stems, you know? Okay. Mm. We, don't do, we don't do pichage or remontage. We don't, we don't work the, 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 the grapes in the, in the tank. They just stay very smoothly lying in the tank and there's a very soft maceration going on for about five to seven days okay. and then we press already. Okay, so you don't really like press the, the stem? No, 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 no. For, for the maceration? Yes. And the fermentation, of course, yeah. Wait. I will show some uh, pictures of the, um, the vineyards. Yeah. Oh, okay, so this is the mine. Hmm. So this this is not the clay soil. This is the clay. This is clay. Yes. Okay. How how old is the wine? Is it the wines are about seventy years old. Hmm. So another old, old vine vineyard. Yeah, do you own the vineyards or are you like contract? Uh, no, I'm... we own the vineyards. In Terroir Limit, we own all the vineyards. Ah, okay. And dry groom? Sorry? And then is it necessarily dry groom, everything? So low irrigation, yeah. right? Yes. It's quite high attitude, right? So, so many yeah, look at this. It's on top of this cliff. The, the vineyard cliff. is on top of this cliff. The Hendrik, every ring is, is very hard to reach. So have you been to the vineyard, Sonny? Unfortunately, no. I, I guess it's very difficult to, yeah. to drive or like to hike there. Yeah. Maybe. Yes, you have to come and, and, and we drive up there. This would be beautiful. We can do like a little hiking trip <laughs> to, to the vineyard from the winery. Yes. Is that from the winery? Well, it's one and a half hours from the winery. It's it's a really difficult drive. You need a four by four car. Mm. That's, so why, that's why we didn't go because we don't have a four by four car. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the soil. Yes. It's like quite kind of reddish clay. It's yes. A lot of like um, like iron in it, or, or or what's the reason? It's a lot of iron in the soil. Yes, this is why it gets so red. Mm -hmm. And you give them, I don't know, like the minerality or, or to the wines? Yes, it gives the spiciness. The beautiful spiciness comes from these chipsum layers. Mm. 
So I understand that you also have another top of the top wine called Atosis. So yes. you, like you just uh, have a quick check on it. So yeah, this, this is the process. This is 100% Carignan. It's a two hectare piece, yes, of 100% Carignan. Mm. And, and the age of the vine is similar to, to the Lamed? No, it's very different than Manias. This is the expression, there's a very beautiful expression of Carignan, and the soil type is schist, Picorelia. So we don't have clay here. So it's a different grape variety and a different soil type. And it creates very beautiful, very different uh, aromatics. So many uh, personal uh, questions. So, uh, between these two grapes, so uh, which one do you like more? <laughs> well, I'm a I'm a Ganache man. I love Grenache, mm. so but I also like the Carignans very much. Mm. So, do you have plan to crumble Grenache as? You love Grenache more. No, we plant both grape varieties. I think both are, it's like when you have kids, there is not one kid that you like more, you know, you like them all the same, but they're different, obviously. Mm. So I defend both grape varieties at the same time. But you do only plant these two wet mm. variety? Yes, only Grenache and Carignan. Mm. For the white, yeah, you, you, you plant a lot of different things. We're doing a lot of white wine, yes. Yeah. It works very well in the market. We are very happy with the white wines also. I think, I think the, the, the white wine from, from Spain is getting more and more popular nowadays. So, you, yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, in, in, in Hong Kong market, like, it used to be like kind of heavy, that a um, that lot preferred by the consumer. So nowadays, yeah. it's, it's a bit changing. Mm. So the, the winemaking or the, the style of the wines is, turns to be a little fresher, but at the same time, you keep the body and the depth. So yeah. it's, and, and, and it's more, it make more people to start trying the white wine and also appreciate, start appreciating that. Yeah, that's good. Hopefully next, next year, next time when Dominic is here, we can taste both of the red wine and white wine there. The audience. I'm, I'm ready whenever you want, Sunny. I understand that like, you also have a, a relatively new, new project at uh, Monsan. Yes, we love it. So I, We I, love I, Monsan. I understand that it's just links to the PRF. And, yeah. and it's, but it's less, much less well known compared to PRF. So it's not so famous, but it has a huge potential. I think Monsan will be very successful in the future. Is it a similar terra? Yes, but so, it's more argile. It's more argile and not so much licorella. Okay, so type is different. Yeah, and it's more it's more Grenache than Carignan. Mm. And, and altitude level? Similar? Every altitude levels between zero up to 800 meters. Okay, so it's quite similar to, except the, the soil. So for your yeah. project, it is still high altitude? Yes, absolutely. We are working with high altitude uh, vineyards up to 800 meters. We make beautiful Grenaches. It's, it's a wonderful project. I'm very proud and very happy to be able to make wine in Monsanto. Mm. In, in terms of style, how do you compare these two? It's even fresher and lighter. Even it's fresher. more fluent because in, in Monsanto you have a different DO. DO. They yep. allow us to harvest earlier. So the wines are lighter and ah. lower alcohol. Okay, so you can do like 13%, for example. Or 12.5. Oh, wow, 12.5. That's very no alcohol yeah. nowadays. Yes. Yes. This is what we're doing in Monsanto. Well, hopefully we, we will have a chance to taste the Monsanto wine in future as well. So I, have a I hope so. From, from, from the audience that uh, um, in textbook, like WSC textbook, so we, we say um, pure red is special for the Ecolella soil. So yes. this is good for Garnacha. But yes. this, this is this true? So because we, we tried the, the wines uh, of your Garnacha is not from uh, Ecolella soil, but uh, the Carrion is from the Ecolella soil. I think the Garnacha is better on Argile and the Carignan is better on Licorella. Hmm. So it's a lot necessary to, to plant Grenache or, or Nicolella soil. No. 
But I think uh, there are lots of the old wines and the old wines can, can tell you it is not mm. a much kitty in mm. that typical. Because when we study that, we are thinking <laughs> like it is written because of the soil, blah, blah, blah. So that we have some granache and make it work yeah. and make good, good quality. What's your opinion on, on decanting wines? Do you decant your wines? Decanting, I don't decant wines very often, no. Mm. I like when the wine slowly, surely opens. Mm. And um, when we can observe how the wine is changing in the glass, I think that's very, very beautiful. I'm not a great friend of decanting the wines. Mm. Mm. And do you like open in advance for a couple yes, of hours? Yes. Mm. yes. As you mentioned, so your team is a um, like full lover. So any like favorite pairing on your wines, red wines or white wines? Well, I like pigeon very much for the Manies. Mm. Pigeon, that's beautiful. And for the Abosa, we love to eat the lamb. The lamb meat is very nice. But also vegetable or even a, a, a structured fish dish is very, very good for the Abosa. So this is the team. It's not a big team, right? Especially the Imperial World in this small village when I visited they they mentioned it is like only 200 people in a town. Yes, 100 people, not 200, 100. <laughs> people, sorry. Yeah. I, I make a double <laughs> So do you have any plan to, to explore? Uh, so the latest one is Monsan. Monsan. What's the next one? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> No. Life is not only about working. <laughs> so you're like, okay. Yeah, I really enjoy enjoy the, the wine tonight. So how how's um, the the comment from the uh, from the consumer, like generally you think in Hong Kong? Well, I think uh, we give the customer another choice of uh, style. From yeah. this region. Mm. And customers love to, especially now, they love to explore new things, new style, and uh, they they really uh, think uh, this is something different from what I know before. Yeah, or, or the, the, the really perception of Spanish wine. Yeah. Perception of Spanish mm. wine and high alcohol level, tiny, pure wine. This is something mm. that they didn't expect and they really yeah. like it. I always okay. super. That's yeah, good news for me. How many wines are to, to like not, not to beginners, mm. but uh, to, to more like uh, I would say like more uh, uh, not really expert, but like people who are interested to drink more different kind of wines. Yeah, so, uh, and you always surprise them. So before I, I, I share the wines to them, so they never never expect this style of pure or Spanish wine. Yes. Yeah. This is Spanish one, really. Yeah. It's a very good yeah. surprise. Okay. Super. Okay. Uh, thank you, thank you, Dominic, for joining us today. Thanks uh, so much. Hi, nice stay. All the best. All Take the best. care. Enjoy and, your lunch. Uh, thanks so much for inviting us. We are very happy to 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 show the people our wines. Thanks so much for your interest and for organizing. No problem. Hopefully, Take see care. Two thousand twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Well, thank you, Sunny. All the best. Bye bye. Ciao. 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 Ciao.